The water walk is a, an absolute phenomenon. It's a force of nature that that took place several years ago with Josephine Mandamon and her sister when they started to carry water around the Great Lakes in hopes to send the message out to the world that water is precious, water is life, and that we need to preserve this very precious medicine for future generations. And so it was them that started the water walk. And since then, hundreds, if not thousands, have joined in this beautiful quest to save water. As Nishnabe people, we know that water can understand us, water can speak, water can hear us, water can feel how we feel. We want to help people understand that unity, unity is something that's very important to gain consciousness of, of who we are as Nishnabe people. That we want to help people understand that we are, we are one, one with the water and united with the water. That is the, the message that we want to bring across. As we move across Turtle Island, we're in prayer for all of life. We're in prayer for that water that we're walking for. And, you know, all of creation bears witness to us. And you become that. You literally be become a part of creation in a really deep and profound way. Native or non-native, whether we're, we're Anglican or Catholic or whatever, we have to protect the water because it is for all of us to, to do that, not just Aboriginal people. We have to raise consciousness about the water, to be united with the water as one. And so our desire and our vision is to level the playing field. If we give legal personhood to these bodies of water, then it protects them indefinitely. We want to make it an entity that is uh, alive, and in that we want to ensure that it has rights just the way humans have rights. Water should have rights also. My really good friend Isaac, he always says, don't wait. There's no time to wait, there's no time to lose. Just do it. Just, just get up and do something because you've been called as well. I just want people to really understand that water is so important. We don't take care of it, it won't take care of us. The animals will die, plants will die, everything will die if we don't have water. So I petition people to raise awareness within their own selves. We can be very powerful.